can even tell by my face I'm like <laughs> Hello, my name is Holly Hickman and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a really, really long time since I've filmed a video, but I wanted to start it back up again because it's a huge creative outlet for me and I need somewhere to release all my creative juices, so here it is. Um, today's video, I want to talk about kind of the fitness journey that I've been on since about 2013. Um, as I talk through dates and times in my life, I'm going to leave uh, pictures up on the screen so that you kind of have a reference of where I was in the fitness journey. Um, it's a little bit of an emotional story, so if you don't want to listen to something that might make you sad, then don't. Um, but it's something that I've totally come to terms with and I'm okay with and it doesn't make me emotional to talk about it. It's more of like a matter of fact. And the main reason that I want to share my story is because I'm hoping that someone out there, if it's like one person I'll be happy, can benefit from seeing a video like this and understand that they're not alone in any of the problems that they've been having with their own fitness journey, weight loss journey, uh, coming out of an eating disorder, anything like that. They're not alone. Um, so yeah, just keep watching and we'll get started. Sorry if you see me reference my phone. I have pictures with the dates on here, so I'm going to try to get the dates right for y'all. So the first picture you're going to see is May 22nd of 2013. So this was me when I was 15 years old. And you can see that I'm not an unfit person. Um, like I'm not overweight or anything, but you can tell that I have enough extra stuff on my body to where I wasn't happy with it. I mean, you can even tell by my face. I'm like... <laughs> and so... That was kind of when my fitness journey started and I started going to the gym with my dad a little bit. We would go lift together. We went to the YMCA and we could put in codes on all the machines and it would tell us how many sets, how many reps to do of everything. And it was really awesome and that definitely jump started my knowledge of the fitness world. Like that definitely um, kind of kick started my interest in fitness. And I kind of like fell in and fell out of going to the gym for a couple of years. Um, and then the next picture you'll see huge difference. This is February 7th of 2015 and it was funny because I wanted to find some pictures from like November, December of 2014 because I pretty much looked the same as I did in the very first picture I showed you and um, I looked just about the same, a little bit chunky here and there but you know nothing extreme or anything like that but then you can see a huge difference in this picture in February. Um, even though you can't see my whole stomach, you can definitely tell that my abs are showing a little more, I'm trimmed down a little more, and people started telling me that I was looking great, I, they could tell I had lost weight, all this stuff, asking me how I did it, and I was just like, haha, <laughs> portion control. Yeah. Code word was, I wasn't eating enough, and that's just like the fact of the matter. I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me, don't watch this video and be like, oh, I'm you poor person, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's not like that. Like, I've come to terms with it and I'm okay with it. Like, it was a part of me that happened and like, it still is with me today, obviously. And it's something I have to battle with, but it's not something that's like, um, as severe as it was back then. And so, and even then, this is about like the skinniest I got because, um, let me backtrack. So between probably like November, December area and then this picture that you see on February 7th, um, I lost like 20 or 25 pounds. And I lost that 20 or 25 pounds, 20 to 25 pounds within a matter of a couple of weeks because I was busy with school and ballet and everything else. I would, and I was working as well. So I wake up in the morning, I would go to school, go to work, go to ballet, come home, do homework, go to bed every single day. And so kind of my logic with was that was like, well, if I don't pack enough food or if I don't pack a ton of food for the whole day, I won't overeat over the whole day. So I would pack like an apple and some crackers for the whole day, which is not enough food, especially not for someone doing as much physical exercise as I was. I was working on my feet. I was dancing three or four hours a day. It's just not healthy and people look at themselves in the mirror after losing weight in an unhealthy way and they're like you know I'm looking good that sort of thing and some girls don't ever get to that point some girls just want to be skinnier and skinnier and I understand that it's a mental disorder it's you know 
not something that is easily overcome. And luckily for me, I saw another one of my friends like deteriorate from not eating enough and she was sent to a rehabilitation center because she wasn't eating enough and that was a huge wake up call for me and luckily it didn't get bad enough to me where I was having any like actual um, like physical issues but it could have been and so I went to my mom and I said I need help and now so I started seeing a therapist and a nutritionist um, I saw I still see the therapist occasionally she's awesome I love her uh, I see her for relationship advice, life advice, anything. And then I also saw a nutritionist, and I only saw her a couple times, um, mainly because I could tell that she typically worked with girls that were a lot further down the line of an eating disorder, and I caught mine really early, and I had that, like, two seconds of courage to speak up and say that I needed help. Um, and I think she just didn't completely comprehend that I didn't need quite as much help as other girls did um because it hadn't gotten that bad but I wanted to stop it while I was early in the process of it because if it got worse I could end up in a rehabilitation center like my friend um all of that goes to say I'm really glad that I caught her early but it's still something that I live with and it's still something that I have to deal with and work with myself and talk myself in and out of things with um because eating disorders are not something that you just have and they go away um so the next picture i have is july 4th of 2015 and i'm back to slash worse than the picture you saw uh the first picture that i showed um definitely overweight in this picture um for my height and age etc or whatever um and so you can see that I kind of did the exact opposite of having an eating disorder like um I hate saying the word but like having like anorexia I'd gone in the complete opposite direction and I think it was because I was scared I saw myself going down a really bad path and I like I said I asked for help I got the help and I think I went in the opposite direction. I was so scared of being sent to a rehabilitation center, it getting bad enough that my heart was deteriorating, it getting bad enough that it was, you know, affecting like my period and my moods and all that sort of stuff that I was eating a lot of food <laughs> so that I was the opposite of anorexic, if that makes sense. I just wanted to get so far away from that that I went in the opposite direction and gained a lot of weight in a matter of a couple of months. Um, so as you can see here, there's a lot of up and downs um, in my fitness journey, and that's what it's about to me, is that it's, you know, experiencing those ups and downs so you can find a good, healthy middle for you, um, which I'm not entirely sure I've found. So the next picture is January 27th and 2016, and I'm back to a little bit, a little bit of ab lines showing, smaller, etc. Um, obviously, I you know lost a little bit of weight in this picture. Same thing happened. I saw myself overweight, and I was like, eh, well, I need to diet back down. But I wasn't just not eating enough during this. I was definitely dieting healthier. I mean, I probably ate ramen two minutes before I took this picture. Like, I wasn't by any means a super healthy eater but I definitely was looking at what I was eating being mindful of my calories that sort of thing and exercising more I definitely was hitting the gym more um, around the time that this picture was taken and then you see April 6th of 2016 so just a few months later and I'm tr I've trimmed up a little bit more um, and I was definitely going to the gym more I was getting stronger it was making me so happy being strong I love the feeling of being a strong woman like whatever I don't know what it is but like I like being in the gym and I know this sounds awful but looking over at a guy doing curls and me doing curls and I'm doing more than him for some reason is just so satisfying to me because I'm like yeah like I'm stronger than you um and so this is definitely when I was going to the gym more and definitely getting stronger July 5th 2016 not that long later um still kind of maintaining a lot of going to the gym a lot, um, eating pretty decently, etc. And then you see my fitness competition, which happened April 8th of 2017, earlier this year. 
and you see I'm pretty trim but it's like nothing special um part of that was because my first fitness competition that I did I got a sinus infection the first day of peak week I got my period the day of the show I was in no shape to be stepping on stage but I had I had just dieted for like five months no it was not five months it was like three or four months I had just like dieted hard for three or four months I'd been hitting the gym really hard hitting cardio really hard I wasn't just gonna let something like a sinus infection get in my way obviously I didn't know about the period until the day of the show but it was just one of those things where like I know I had a sharper physique but it didn't come out that way because of my body's ailments and peak week was so hard for me um, by the way, if you don't know, peak week is the week before a show. You do a lot of, you manip manipulate a lot of things during peak week so that on the day of the show you look the best that you have ever. Um, and that's a whole nother story that I'm not going to go into, but um, that peak week was really hard for me because I was sick and so my body was craving nourishment. And during peak week, you're not eating a ton, like you're eating enough to keep you lean and to keep you, you know, alive, it's not anything like what I would eat when I was, would have, was having issues with eating disorders. It was much more than that, but you still aren't eating a whole lot because you're in a calorie deficit, you're, you know, losing weight, etc. Um, and peak week is intense, and I think my body was just craving nourishment so much that, like, every food I saw, I was like, I need it because my body was craving that. It, um, it needed that nourishment to help itself get better. So that was my first fitness competition. I came in last place, but then I talked to the judges about it and they said it was because my tan wasn't dark enough. So I was kind of mad about that because I didn't get last place because my physique wasn't good and I got last place because my tan wasn't good, which doesn't make sense to me. But um, moving on, you see uh, the next picture is May 17th of 2017. So a month and a half later. And there's a huge difference. You can see it. Everyone can see it. Um, I don't know why, but after my first competition, I went low-key crazy with food. I think because I had dieted so strictly for so long, I was like, I felt this really odd sense of like freedom. But what didn't make sense was the fact that like, that freedom led me to eat to the point where I'd make myself sick. Like, I don't mean like throwing up or anything, but like I would just have awful stomach aches and I'd be like, Holly, why did you just eat all that food? Like you weren't even hungry. You were just bored and you can eat it now. So you did. Um, and I know that's an awful way to eat. It definitely is. Um, and I totally recognize that. And my boyfriend and I talked about it a lot especially going into my prep for this next show that just happened November 4th. Um, I did not want the same thing to happen again. So um, I did another show. I prepped for 12 weeks and then I competed on November 4th. I managed a third place and a fifth place in my two different divisions in that show and I was so happy with it. But going on now, my fitness goal is to not necessarily maintain the body that I have because in my opinion you can't ever maintain a stage body because your stage body is you know uh, includes the manipulation of water and carbs and all sorts of stuff like that so the day that you how you look on the day of your show is just not how you're gonna look in real life all the time but I wanna stay around the same weight because I feel so healthy and so happy at this weight that I want I don't want it to catapult back into just eating because I can, if that makes sense. Um, and so I had some fun, like I ate um, fun foods that I couldn't have, like cake and pasta or whatever um, after my show. And I'm three days out from my show, so three days, it happened three days ago. And I feel really good. I kind of came up with a little bit of a calorie counting system for myself just so I can slowly reverse back into eating more calories but not gaining weight from it. Um, and I just hope that I can maintain this physique. And my goals moving forward are pretty much to get stronger and stay as close to this physique as I possibly can. I would love to compete in powerlifting sometime soon with my boyfriend because 
I, like I said earlier, I love that feeling of being strong and getting awarded for being strong. Sounds like a lot of fun to me. Um, so yeah, those are kind. Of, that's kind of like, like my fitness journey. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you um, like kind of saw that you're not alone. Whether it's your diet fluctuating from you looking really good to not so hot, if it's struggling with eating disorders, if it's um, you know finding motivation to go to the gym, whatever. Like, just I hope that you found something to relate to in this video. And if y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, etc., you can email me at Holly. Ellison Hickman at gmail.com. Um, I'll have that in the description box. Or you can DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is Holly underscore Hickman. You can DM me on there, DM me on Twitter, um, anything like that. I'll lay all the, leave all the links to my social media below. But seriously, ask me any questions y'all have. I never want anyone to feel alone in their fitness journey or feel like they don't know what they're doing or they don't know why something's happening. Um, because I know how that feels and it's frustrating and it can make you feel so small and like insignificant in a way. It's a weird feeling, but it's there. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did. Um, I really appreciate it if you subscribed. I'm going to be uploading some more videos soon and I hope to see y'all soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.